guys, super guys, it's Timmy. Guys, uh, Cool Yoshi here, and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey 100% walkthrough. In this e last episode, we did a bunch of stuff, including 100%ing and I believe the darker side of the kingdom. But, uh, yes, yeah, so. Apparently, you can use amiibos whenever you want now because, um. I have these two of evils that I collected from the beginning of the game, yet I refuse to use them at first. Just don't mind me, I just came back, so I'm kind of an Indian and tend to die to stuff all the time. So, anyways, we have some hidden purples up here, and at the end of the last video, we tried to get them. So, yeah, so anyways, there's a little cheat we can do that I probably should have mentioned before. I actually never even searched that up until later, but yeah, don't ask me why, but apparently you can tag amiibos in this game anywhere, and if you tag them in specific points, you'll get different abilities based on where the section is, so... Um, if I press, uh, and hold this button on the right side stick, an icon will spawn. And if I use it, if we use it with Bowser, um, I can actually f use this cheat to find stuff throughout the game. It's basically the little miniature assist mode that you can use, and you can use it pretty much wherever you want, and yeah, so all the purples that I miss now are actually accessible to me now, which is pretty cool. I like it, but anyways, yeah, we got 99 coins again, because why not? Okay, well, at least I skipped the falling animation there. We're starting to go a lot faster this time, but anyways. Yeah, I bet you didn't get those coins the first time. Definitely very difficult. And again, we could use Bowser's cheat if we want. So, so that'll tell you where purples are that you might have missed. Um, no, it's not just a miniature cheat. It tells you the exact location of whichever one you missed, so you could just warp to all the areas and you can have it collected, but there are a couple of purples I actually went off screen to find, and but anyways, these are some of the hardest purples to find, like, I don't know how I didn't find them the first time, but whatever. tried to mash a little bit too fast and went to the wrong warp zone. I need to warp up to a very top one, not this one. There we go. Now when I take a break from the same, it does seem to affect my gameplay quite a bit. So another thing I forgot Peach is actually up here. I completely misheard that idea. So as our normal quick selfs are gonna go, we're gonna hold down the ZR button and shake that remote like crazy. And just kind of loop around here to find Peach. She probably should have known she was here right here all along. But I forgot about it. And just like usual, we get a power moon. And she, yeah, she tells you hints about which peach boons you haven't gotten. And 
What I used were actually a Peach Wedding Amiibo and a Bowser Wedding Amiibo. Each of those uh, does its own effect, and they even award you with bonus dresses, which I'm going to be getting now. Because, remember all those stuff there? Yeah, it's kind of... I eh, didn't mean to do, but first... We're gonna use... Get some of the last items available, which are... These items that just became available. And then... We'll be nearly good with all of that later. I believe after around 700 moons of the last item becomes available. And I'm bored, so I'm gonna actually change into this outfit now. There's an interesting area I want to go to next, which is actually pretty crazy and requires purples from several different kingdoms to uh, unlock it. Without all of them, it's very difficult. Yeah. Okay, so pretty much all done with this area. The only moon we missed is um, not even found in here. It is found with the Sand Kingdom Hint Heart, which I'm going to get now. Which is in a different kingdom. Yes. Gonna want to head into Bowser's Kingdom for that, but what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna head to Lake Kingdom first to pick up this coin and then work to a different spot, and I'm gonna do probably one of the first fast tricks in this run. So you don't actually have to go travel between all the different kingdoms all the time to get stuff. You can actually find most items hidden in a different kingdom. So what do I want this outfit for? It's for this thing right here. If we go all the way up into this area, there are some NCPs that actually want our us to wear a specific costume. And there's three of them in total in the same area. Right here, so they all want to see different outfits. As you can see, you want the one in the left wants a style. As you can see, they each have their own little puns and turns out you actually need uh, two of them ha two of those things can only be got outfits can only be gotten with purple coins from different kingdoms so this means our next logical best spot is to actually head over to moon we never bought this so we get to do that, I guess. You know what? I'll do this. Shut it. 
Yeah, this is gonna be kind of confusing, dude. Trust me, this reading won't be as bad the next day. Okay, now back to this area to get an arm little set. Alright, where is it again? Right here. A little bit too early again. I keep forgetting that I have to do both of them. Okay, now we keep this on for basically a little while, but yeah. As you can see, there are quite a bit of tough cutscenes. Get out. And yeah, I think I was playing a little bit bad. I'm probably going to have to go to a different areas now because as apparently yeah pretty much all the main worlds have uh, dark side of the moon hint art but yeah this is one of the more frustrating areas as you might see because you need three different <laughs> outfits and two of them come from a different kingdom, which means by default our best place is actually going to be Moon, which isn't too bad. I'm pretty sure the Moon normal is really quick, but this time around I'm going to look at the dark side hint arts. No, we never go back to dark side, because there's... A uh, bunch of hint arts everywhere. I think it's over here that I have to go. Okay, so we're gonna actually start moving for this area backwards. Because. Yeah, Moon's done a little bit different, right? Yeah, so all the areas are pretty tough. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of conf I'm honestly kind of confused as to where to go now. I at least know where the wedding area is, but... Yeah, probably the major confusion for this is that, yeah, most of the moons here don't even spawn until after Bowser's defeated, so, yeah, it's very difficult. And of course, I avoid the bird. There's a way to just get that. Figures we have to do a shake strat to try to get this. Yeah, 
And yes, yes that's, that's not, not a normal bird. bird. That is a robo bird. Pretty interesting, eh? I really need to figure out where the trigger set for this is. I did not want to spin in, you jerk. I wanted an actual throw, can't be. Huh, there we go. Why even call it a bird at this point? Yeah, exactly. Oh, and yes, Peach is supposed to be a tap here as well, but we came a little bit early, so I don't think she's here actually. Again, an hour walk. A lot of what this ruining is is just uh, doing stuff just based on where different things spawn and. It's done in the raw in order, it could take quite a long time to actually get through everything. I suppose our best way of going through it now is to go for the main kingdoms we missed. Did even mean to uh, activate that? I'm just here to get some coins for the dread for the. So you hear that shine thing? Yeah, apparently there's a moon up there, don't ask me why. Fortunately, the way we are at it, it's pretty difficult to... So we can actually enter these paintings, and if we choose to, I'll start the intro cutscene again. And we just skipped it. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. I don't even know how you're supposed to do that the intended way. Wait. I know that there's a moon up top, but how in the world do I get it? My only assumption is you pretty much have to bring this frog with you. So how do you get that darn moon then up there? Because it's all the way up here, but how are you supposed to get to it the intentional way? I assume it's like through a timer challenge, I guess, but I don't see how else you would get it. Okay, let's just try to not die here from just doing random stuff.
Okay. That's fine. We got enough. We're gonna come back to this kingdom later, because apparently we don't have enough stuff yet. At least in our rainy area. area. I don't know why, but I've forgotten entirely how to root this game. Like, where I should be going for 100%. We're just here for this. So, how do you unlock those outfits in the corner, you must say? Well, there's something that I probably could have shown you before. You can talk to this guy and... So yeah, you can use use this cheat and well it's not really a cheat, it's just if you have any amiibos, which I have the Peach and Bowser wedding amiibo, which any Jess amiibo. These are the only real ones that work, but yeah, it basically allows us to do a bunch of bonus stuff. Um the main reason I'm using them is not necessary to find where the last moons are. It's more so to get... <clears throat> uh, costumes, because I think you would normally have to pay money to get each of those costumes, but... With this, we are able to do it immediately. sure what I'm even here for. Well first let's check dark side to see if the hint art has been gotten. Nope. Oh wait, that was I was thinking about a different one. Found with the uh, Hanard, but Well, at least I was correct or something. I'm gonna try to get the dark side stuff now because it's pretty difficult to remember where those are. Okay, no. There it is. Uh, just to make it easier, let's check. I want the lake kingdom. Is the specific moon on there? Nope. Okay, so that means the best 
I guess we have to collect the dinosaur now, because we need him to clear a path for us in order to get the specific moon we're looking for. Yeah, there's no way to get all the moons on your first visit. If you did, that would be really cool, but that would be very unlikely. Okay, well, at least I got a trick over there. Now it's actually destroyed the things with the dino now. The best way to do that is to just wait and he's gonna jump up there. And yes, we find a moon just wandering there, but there's also a little picture we saw as we went in there. If you looked closely at the hint art, then the moon should be around this area. Of course, we don't know exactly where it is, so the best to try is to just pound it till it comes out. Figure out where it is. How many stuff do we have to do now? <laughs> so much. Okay, so we need to go close to where this Uncle Amiibo guy is. And right here is where the moon is. Like uh, I literally pounded in every spot but that one that held the moon there. Now back to actually traveling to the different kingdoms. I'm gonna save one of them for later because that one won't come until Mushroom, but. Getting the next one will be a little bit more interesting. As silly as it is, Cloud and um, Ruin still have moons. It's just they become available after defeating Bowser. Do you see now why we did the any percent portion as fast as we did before? Skipping a lot of stuff. Probably should have skipped all the purples, to be honest, but... A lot of the dark side hint art is really annoying, and if you go to the second places before you've been to the dark side of the moon, it becomes very difficult. And well, how do you suppose you get this? It's not too difficult. You'll see one spot that has moon, but first we get this, and then just Peach again. Yeah, because Peach likes to jail again. So one of these actually has a moon. Since so you don't memorize the pattern, our best way of getting it is to just do this over and over again until we get all that done. Are you ready for the fun part now? We get a lot more moons than before. The only moon available for the first time was actually the... Oh, what was it? 
The only moon available for the first time here is not even like Bowser's moon. Yeah, of course I missed the little platform thingy. I was trying to do a little trick in the section. If that since that was pretty annoying, I'm gonna try it again. Okay, uh, that time is really bad. I just want to hit the darn platform. That's all I want to hit do. Finally hit it, but I hit it at the wrong time. Okay, let's stop being an idiot and do the actual true strategy I wanted to do. I'm just gonna vault this and of course we get that part first try. Now for the interesting part. Uh, come on! Cappy! Finally, jeez. It's not it's not gonna be a fun moon to get if we aren't able to reveal these platforms because Cappy keeps going the wrong way! Jeez. Finally. Absolutely frustrating moon to get because Cappy just refusing to hit the right tiles. So dumb. Okay, we're gonna skip this last one because of how annoying it's been so far. So what's the only moon? It's only available in here and you get it on the revisit. This toad will give you a moon. Anyways, we get the picture match. So we, yeah, we get to do all this. So, um, yeah. This is intended to be done before the, um, our face, but yeah. Basically, we have to capture this thing and... Wow, I failed miserably. Actually, wait, uh, now, now what do I do? Oh yeah, the eyes. So this... Hmm. Zio. Yeah. Darn, I'm... I kind of hate how when you use the ZL trick... That uh, just immediately fin finishes. Okay. Now, if we did that on the first part, that would have been really bad, but. Well, somehow we still managed to pass. It's not too bad. But. Now the hard part! The entire seal light is going to disappear! So we need to hurry to get parts of it on before it disappears. No. Wrong one. So this one is a lot more tougher. It requires, I think, 80 points or whatever. So you have to... Kind of just memorize it based off of the position of this. Okay. So this time around, I'm gonna place it kind of close together, but not too close. Because it's like... Right there. And in the mouth. Now you can just actually get the first one with while skipping one of the parts. Okay, that one actually looks good. I went slower and I didn't mess up as much. But! He hates it anyways. Wow, and I lost by one point. What an idiot. Come on. Stupid toad, that was his fault. Let's try again. Do you know why everyone hates it now? Because <laughs> you just... Okay, well now I know that the thing is approximately right here. We get to place it. I'm not even sure what was bad, because that looked really good to me. I feel like the game just trolled me there. I placed it as best as I could. 
think this sign actually goes here, and that's why it messed up the first time. I think mixing up the eyes is possibly what cost me some of the points in the first place. Because the other free stuff were replaced really well. And the mouth, especially. Ah, okay, thank, thank gosh. Thank gosh I got at least the second time, because that could take a really long time to do. Yeah, I'm kind of ashamed of myself. I did two fails in a row. Literally one, one fail I did completely accident that I didn't even mean to. And then a fail by like one point. There's a Mario one though that's way worse. And I am continuing to be an idiot, Mario. Come off! Don't fuck off, you idiot! Ugh. Let's try that again. Jeez, whenever I die like that, I feel so much dumber. I need to not fall down, please. Should be simple as jumping. That's the same thing that happened last time. I hate these platforms. Jeez, Elise. Oh, yeah. Get ready for a pretty tricky uh, section. Wow, i pretty sure that was pretty bad selection movement, but I was still able to get it. But yeah. Do you understand why no one wants to go to this kingdom now? It's pretty small and also, for some reason, really difficult. Don't know how I've died so many times, because it seems like it should be just a free and easy kingdom to do. One where I shouldn't die at all, but nope. I'm like crazy because Mario just keeps going a lot more than I want him to go. Okay, I definitely could have skipped that platform. Okay, that time was bad. Jeez, missing one of these platforms makes it very difficult. Imagine if I did all that work and missed that moon. I was like, yeah, let's take our time there and not die. Now the only bonus zone in the entire area, which is this 2D area, which is much easier than what the other areas have been like so far. Okay, this one is a little bit tricky. Could at least try to not take damage. Show you the intended way of doing this. Just to kill all the spiky guys off. Making it a lot easier to, uh, to get through that. Ah, darn, if I was a little bit quicker, I could have to one of the other areas a little bit But yeah, we find some hidden blocks, and it turns out there's an arrow moon up here. I feel like a lot of the time in this uh, 
This is the particular episode was just wasted on absolutely nothing. Okay, this is the last part where I want to take damage right here with this hammer, bro. Because he's really annoying to get around, so... Yeah, a lot of the 2D areas are about taking damage to go fast. So you have quite a bit of health to work with. Oh, right, because I lost my other thing, I get to do this again. Oh. If it'll let me. <laughs> I was about to say, if it'll let me even do that. I think Bowser's one, one of the best, though. Because it finds purple coins for me, so that I can not have to worry about miss ever missing a stray purple again. But anyways, oh. Wait, Peach Match? Uh, nope. Or... In... I think it's the pounding mode. Well, it can't be above, do I? So I just pound again until I find it. Where it? Oh, wait a minute. Oh. I think it's a rumble one again. Yep, it's a rumble one. Rumble, how I hate it. So it says around here. See, why could I find that before? <laughs> That is actually kind of frustrating. Alright, that kingdom's done for good. And we got uh, Dark Side in art, so let's head out and move on to the next area. I feel like it'll be easiest if we do these hit arts in order, but who knows. Number eight. Okay. Bet to luncheon. We're gonna get that one now. Yeah, I'm kind of frustrated with myself. It seems like stuff like that happens a lot. I think we're just gonna go to, I guess, the easier kingdoms now to cool off. So we'll go to Ruined and then Lost, because those have some pretty easy pinards to get. So for this one, we have to go all the way back here. So, how do we go to this one? We want to turn our camera so that it faces a specific angle. Oh yeah, right around here. I remember now. Darn. It's on one of the sides, I know. Ah, there we go. Finally found the right spot. Dark side in art number eight. Now we'll do number ten and ruined. Hopefully this time Ruined will be a little bit quicker since we already have all the main moons there. Alright. I think I was right with doing Moon Kingdom last because Peach doesn't want to show up there right now. But I also had to do part of it to get the costume because otherwise it would become very difficult to 100%. Now, 
We're back here and Yep, there's just a random moon hiding here. That's where the dark side hint art is. I didn't need as much of a hint for that because I actually watched a speedrunner recently do it, so yeah. That's probably the easiest one to find since this planet is already really small. I mean, kingdom. Uh, I don't like my spot, so I'm gonna work back here. And we're gonna do the moons in order. There is one bonus here again, but I'm not sure. It's yeah, it's pretty straightforward. So, our idea of getting this moon is we have to pass these dudes first. I'm gonna do it based on how they do it. So you go here and grab the chuck. Use the chart. Charge. The first charge crashes into this. Now we charge again. But this time we want to head around this area. Getting these coins, which... If we did everything correctly now, this dude will spawn up here, which he did. But we were too late with it. As you can see, that golden guy will spawn, but only... Oh wow, I went way too slow. But... Yes, that enemy has a specific spawn spot. You will not come until all tell you for some reason stand down there. Which requires also using the chuck there to get a bunch of coins since Yeah. <laughs> right from that into a bog. Because of course whenever you bonk in this game, you're left pretty much defenseless. Classic. Yes, there's a area actually hidden up top that we can get to. That's where our moon is. Okay, we're going a lot quicker than what we did last time, and I already know where one of these is. Yeah, don't ask me why, but the dragon now talks. Dragon is somehow back up and running, but at least he's not threatening us like he was before. Oh yeah, that's where the last one is. Peach in the Ruined Kingdom. This should be the last moon here. Of course, not including the dark side hint art we got. I actually got the last one, but. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, there's still one more. Looks like we get to do a rumble again. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, unfortunately the, the main, main way to rock troubles is very difficult to do. I think I could do the quick version of it by just taking it over here. Yeah. Okay. So you, you can, can break, break those rocks by just running them into a different rock, so the idea is you pick up the one that you need and... Oh, there's one more that I missed. Huh. Okay, that one's will be actually interesting then. I thought this was just going to be done, but no.
Number five, the only ever one. What the? Ugh. No. This son. Four. Yeah, figures. I missed one in the bonus zone as standard. It's not me unless I miss a one in the bonus zone. So we get to go back up here, at least after we're done, where we can leave. See? Yep. Can't believe I missed this one. So how do you get the secret one? Well, you... Okay, well, we, at least we got that the first try. Ah, all that for just a heart. I thought that was gonna be something else. Ah, I see now. Just run right, that's all. This is Okay, well, we have to respawn all these guys we're leaving because that's not the right way to do it. We're supposed to kick him to the right. And we get another puzzle of our own. <laughs> I'm gotten really good with the timing. I think before I missed it like several times, but this one's really easy. Alright, now we can leave. <laughs> so we can actually leave the bonus areas a lot quicker by timing them as our last area we want to go into and then we just leave and yeah you could just leave bonuses like that that's two kingdoms down now completely in one video yeah those didn't take long at all now for uh, I should just picked before seaside secret and then I probably should do that our choice before I forget about it. So I'll do Bowser's next, which will give me something interesting to go for. Because, yeah, reading all this has become very difficult. I want to start uh, that specific one, though, by going to Mushroom. Anyways... This in art doesn't take really long to do. There's, I believe, just pillars you have to look for. You find the pillars, you find your moon. But, I don't know. Actually, wh what I should have done is, there's this really annoying beach moon I showed you earlier. Well, there's actually a trick to it, where if you go into two-player mode, you can actually do it really easy by just skipping over it and the idea of skipping it is you you have to jump on the court with Mario and then leave it and then uh, basically uh, yeah you can do a little skip so to actually show that off let's do a double controller setup which we can do by setting the two-player mode, which is actually pretty interesting. Yes, so I'm 
I'm gonna do this a pretty different way. Wow, that was weird. Did I really have to do that? Jeez. <laughs> Hate when it does that, but anyways. So how do you want to do it? Well, you press the Y button to take fright straight away. And there we go. We are now doing this with entirely Cappy. It's a lot easier than what I did before in a previous episode. In fact, it's very fast compared to the original. Now, if you want to do this the entire way, you can move Mario off with some of your last frames and it becomes really safe, so... Instead of it being an actual volleyball, it's more like, move the hat to wherever the thing is, and it's pretty easy. But this is also the least favorite minigame by a lot of people, because whenever you fail it, it costs a lot of time. So I thought I would do this to finish off the video for once. Funnily enough, I finished this minigame 100 points before I did the other one, and yes, I found out from an other one that going up to 50 won't help. <laughs> it's only 15 and 100. The toughest part comes at 50 when it just goes like crazy speed and tends to bait you out, so we'll be staying in the middle for most of this, but... I should probably quiet down for the second half. See, told you it was easy. And how do you? S <laughs> See, told you it was easy. Now to make sure nothing else is done, we're going to remove two-player mode by doing this. And bam, we're back to one-player mode. But you can see how much more manageable that is in two-player mode. In fact, it's a big cheat overall because Mario only has like a little bit frames to react and 
there's always a little delay after Mario throws Cappy. So, if you bonk this side of this area even once, too much, you might lose Cappy. And if you lose Cappy here, it takes a while for him to come back, which means there is very little room for error. In fact, I think if I show myself up right here, I have a much higher ranking on this. That's my highest record right there. 110. I actually got that. Um, completely blind, no cheats, I promise. <laughs> and yeah, pretty cool. So I thought since the video was getting kind of tiring already, let's end it off with volleyball. And sure enough, we did it on our first try. And you can see now why nobody hates that game as much, because if you play in two-player mode, you can do that anytime. And even if you are not playing alone like me, anybody can do this cheat. It's pretty easy. You just uh, do that, and it's pretty easy. You can get the 100 power moon. Pretty much very easy, or almost every time there, as I got it on my first try. That will end the episode. Leave a like if you enjoyed, comment, rate, subscribe, and the next video will be continuing for the main kingdoms, including Seaside and probably Bowser's Kingdom this time, so we could get the hint art there. Again, a lot of the... What makes this run really hard is that the hint art is hidden in a different kingdom, so it becomes very difficult to play this game when you have to remind yourself exactly where those hint arts exactly are, because memorizing all of those is pretty tricky. So yeah, the fact that I'm doing it without even taking one picture is crazy. Anyways, leave a like if you enjoyed, comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye.